Hello, I'm Jack and welcome to my channel where today we are looking at a brand new lens for my camera. This here is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter 1.8 aperture lens, which is amazing for video and for photography. For the whole of this video, I'll be using this lens to record so that you can see what it's like in real life situations, um, except for when you can actually see the lens because obviously I'm not recording with it now because I've got it in my hand. But that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a like and subscribe. And let's just get straight into it with the unboxing. Whoosh. This is the Amazon box and I'm gonna open it up right this second. I mean, it's heavy. This is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens, 1.8 aperture. So let's open this up. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Uh, okay, so it comes with a limited um, warranty and the instructions, warranty sticker. And in the box is this bag which the lens is in so it's a nice little bag uh, with a loop belt loop hole on it as well let's open that up and in here got foam protection there and the lens itself which is a beast look at that whoa okay i have got to put that back down whoa and in the bottom of it there is the hood for the lens as well so it's a sigma hood as well which is cool so so this comes with autofocus and manual focus and everything. Let's have a proper look at some of the specifications on this. This is the first time I've ever recorded anything on this mahusive lens. Um, so it's massive, so, oh gosh, it's quite heavy. So I've got to hold it quite far away from me to be like this. And look at that, that is unbelievably smooth zoom there. Um, let me switch it on to you different aperture here. So that's on 3.5 aperture. Oh my God, let's lower that ISO. So that is a 2.1 aperture, which is like amazing. Look how blurred that is and how well in focus I am. Um, I read a lot of reviews online saying that there was a lot of clicking on focus and everything. So if I just, literally, I can't hear anything when I did that. So when I first got my camera, which is the Canon 200D or SL2 Rebel, if you're in America, when I first got that camera, I got the kit lens and I also got this, which is the Nifty 50, which is a 50 millimeter lens. Um, and its aperture is, I want to say 1.8 as well, because it was 50 millimeters and this camera is a crop center. It meant that I had to literally be miles away and wouldn't be able to use it. Um, just by holding this, I've got a really sore arm. It's quite a heavy lens. This is incredible. For something like this, I'd normally probably be on 800 or 1600 ISO, but I'm on 200 now of 1.8 on my um, aperture. Right, let's go and test out this lens. <laughs> So because this is an 18 to 35 millimeter lens, uh, it means when I zoom into a landscape like this, that's about as far as I can go. So that's 85 mil, and that's back to 18. So my Canon kit lens was an 18 millimeter lens, and um, because lens, this lens is a little bit longer, it's a little bit more closer to my face, but there's not much of a difference there. The lens has also got a 1.8 aperture, which means that if you look in the background, it's nice and blurry and my face is very clear. Like even if I put my hand out there, it starts to go blurry, which you wouldn't normally get on a kit lens. And it's really impressive for, for any lens to go that low with such a good uh, zoom distance from 18 to 35. So that's why it's such a good lens and it's not too expensive 
either. So the sun is just setting, so it's getting quite dark now. Normally if I was filming like this, I'd be at least ISO 400, maybe 800. Uh, I'm currently now on F1.8 and 100 ISO, which is the minimum um, ISO which I can get on this camera. So that is really impressive, which means I've got a lot more flexibility for when I am uh, in a low light situation. So that's good. So as I've been talking, I'm not sure whether you've been able to hear, but I've been moving around and the focus motor inside the camera might have been moving and when I looked into this lens I saw a few people on review saying that you could hear it clicking so I'm not sure if you can hear that but so the video I did the other day when I listened back on that it didn't seem to you couldn't really hear the clicking you could occasionally if you're really listening out for it but I've got a road um, shotgun up on top of my camera like this so the road mic is far enough away from the camera, which means that I probably, you probably can't hear it and it's a shotgun mic, so it'll point, it's quite directional, so it'll go straight to my face, so it's not looking down here at the lens, so the mic will go straight up here and to me, talking. I've taken out the road mic, so it's just doing the camera's audio, so you'll probably hear a difference now. But if I move away, you can probably see that the focus is moving, and you might be able to hear it clicking, I'm not sure. So it's always worth investing in a proper microphone, like a Rode one. So I was just about to turn around and head back and then behind me was this, you can't see it because it's so let me do that. The sun is setting and it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love a good sunset. There you go. This is crazy lighting. This lighting is so good. I'm going to test out the portrait mode on um, this camera with the low aperture and see how good that is. My thing is absolutely freezing. Um, I've got the remote so I can take some nice portraits. That sun is amazing. You can't really see it though, because for me to be in the correct exposure, that means this is going to be really dark. So, oh, awesome. Let's get some nice portraits going. This is my regular vlogging setup. I've got the camera here with a road mic on top and the gorilla pod. So I'm holding onto the gorilla pod like I normally would. And I'm on 18 millimeters for the zoom so that you can see my face. I'm not too in your face like that. quickly so like I'm now on aperture 1.8 and ISA 1600 and it's only 5 to 5 and the sunset at 20 past so yeah right I better head home Thank you very much for watching this video so far. This lens has been absolutely amazing. Like I've looked back on it and um, 
that footage has been so good like the 1.8 aperture is such a great benefit of something like this um, and it comes from 18 through to 35 millimeters which is really good for the price it is because the Canon expensive lenses are like a, like a thousand quid more than this is so that's really good and I'd really recommend this to anyone thank you very much for watching this video and if you did like it perhaps you'd give it a like or even subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video thank you very much for watching hello I am Jack bye <laughs>